Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number 11. Alright, uh, the previous episode we uh, met the reporter and like Kotaro and he had kind of a little bit of a conversation and like he is threat not threatening but kind of saying that yeah i'm going to tell everything to the world how you are exploiting the zomb uh not zombies the the idols and all like, you know how they're dead and everything and um like kotaro didn't even care he said that yeah go ahead i'll do my own job and uh thankfully the whole uh power got cut off when he was like you know uploading the video or something and now like there is a big thing like you know that we big information that we got to know in the previous episode is something catastrophic is going to happen here which is the reason why kotaro has been doing everything so that saga does not uh you know like people do not forget saga after whatever is going to happen now i wonder like you know like we kind of saw a tornado happening and like some buildings getting destroyed so maybe is that what is actually going to happen is that how people are going to forget saga like a few questions are here and like let's see like you know what actually happens uh, i'm a bit concerned here because i thought uh like i never even thought something like this could happen like you know like some kind of huge incident like this is an incident which is going to probably like you know like what can i say affect each and every person not only the idols like the whole like every people in saga are going to be affected by this if this is what i think it is like you know the whole uh cyclone if it you know destroys the place so who knows like let's see what happens what the actual I'm, I'm sure like more uh we'll get more answers two more episodes left i think this and the next episode so we'll surely get some kind of a conclusion within that so yeah without further ado let's get started with Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number 11 so yeah I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go February 18 <laughs> oh my god, Ty. Hmm. Whoa. What's happening? Is everything floating or something? Oh no! Is everything flooded? I don't think that yeah i was thinking that's quite impossible but no no it's not your body it's the house she didn't even notice outside oh there she is <laughs> Oh no! Where are the other houses? What the hell? They got... <laughs> you guys like... Yeah. <laughs> Where's Kotaro? Zombie survivor. <laughs> Die. Yeah. Whoa. So how did their like you know house get adrifted? Oh no, he's a yeah. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, at least they're on land. Okay. Ah, uh, okay.
Ozaki Dots. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh, okay. Um... Oh no. Yeah, this is pretty serious. Oh, great. Now you have to make, you know, use the makeup again. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, this can't even be repaired properly. Who? Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh, what a mess. Catch on. I'm concerned about their makeup, like if it somehow goes away, it'll be a mess. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ichiko, Niko, Sanko. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Zero ko. Oh, Tae. Oh no! <laughs> okay, eat properly, Ty. <laughs> well, she did say you can eat, you know, so I guess. <laughs> oh no! Well, they're children, so I guess... <laughs> they're going to say, Mom, Mom, my head was kind of, you know, chasing me, and their mom will be like, what the hell are you even saying? Mm. No! Yeah. Don't be... <laughs> Mm. Oh, they can do a little song, you know? Yeah. Like, all of them can... But they don't have an uh, instrument. I guess oh, it's okay, like... <laughs> what are those candles? No, the torch lights, okay.
February 20th. Where is Kotaro? How is he? Yeah. Oh, the, 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 he'll, he'll meet those girls here. <laughs> this is the hand gestures. Yeah, like imagine like all their houses are oh, damn. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. Wow, they made a little bit of a stage. Nice. Without any instruments or mic, you know, like just a small little. There you go. <laughs> well, you see, like that guy was saying like, you know, like exploitation and stuff and now look at this. <laughs> yeah like don't jump into conclusions that's the only thing oh my god are they stuck here for like one day Oh my god. Okay, thank god. The police officer is here. <laughs> a, a little bit. <laughs> this, this. Okay, thank god he found him. Yeah. He's okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh no! I, this was what I was afraid of. <laughs> what now? Like, uh, I'm guessing Kotaro is up now. Like he'll definitely come and like do something. I hope so. <laughs> Damn, Kotaro is looking. <laughs> uh. Is this Mamoru Miyano's voice? I think so. Yeah, this is Mamoru Mino's voice, isn't it? Uh, 
like i hope he finds them like <laughs> he's like oh my god like, how do you even find in someone in this situation like no telephones nothing maybe the news news section you know like maybe it's been broadcast to someone and he'll see and understand that yeah these our girls are there oh this is uh, Saki's uh... nothing today it's a, a difficult situation we don't have makeup oh no Oh, what's happened to Romero? Is it Kotaro here? Oh, no, no. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you need a special makeup. Where do you even get that? Like <laughs> Typical zombie behavior. <laughs> oh, m maybe they can paint their face. Oh, okay, or maybe. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh! Go! Oh. Okay, um... <laughs> yeah. It's just, uh, like, you know... <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I hope it does not fall off. Or, like, you know. They have? Okay. Okay. Oh! Um, it's just, uh. <laughs> okay, this is part of the play, you know? Like. You just say that this is part of the play. We're, we're acting as zombies, you know? Like a zombie theme today. Uh. Uh. Oh. Are there only children here? <laughs> oh no, adults are also here. So, are they not... Okay, I was really not expecting this. I never thought that their identity would get... Busted like this. There you go. I was thinking, like, they can just say that it's a zombie theme today. <laughs> like, hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Ya. Yeah. No, yo. <laughs> Oke. Okay. True embodiment of idols. Ya. Yeah. Help. Mm. No, you, you can say that like we're continuing the zombie theme, so <laughs> there is. <laughs> mm, yeah. Wait, that's not the yeah. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Handicap Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zombie as possible. <laughs> yeah, there was one tank, but <laughs> oh, his name is Inui. Oh. No matter. What are the devil? Ah. 
I'll keep continuing. Wow, all it takes for you to. Oh. Wow, that was fantastic. Amazing, you know, way it ended. Even though we have another episode left, but still. Like, okay, um. <clears throat> one thing I want to check out, first of all, is I was unable to read what was actually written in that paper. You know, that Kotaro was actually. <coughs> Like it was actually shown in the uh, flashback. Just a sec. We, um, no matter who hates me for it, even if it makes taking on God or the devil. Okay, here it is. Um, Haneda South Street, Suginami, Tokyo, ZLS Corporation, new member audition submission, CO, audition office. Wait, what audition was this? Was this like an audition to... Um, uh become a producer or, or something like that just a sec uh zls corporation inc new member audition oh no new member audition wait was he also like trying to do something not like obviously like, like he could not be an idol but you know something like that like singing or something like he wanted to do something like that so that is that some like audition like because I doubt this is a producer audition, uh, you know, a producer thing because it's written new member audition. Like that means like probably there's some kind, maybe he wanted to make, like, you know, like make some band or something, something like that. So is that, is this some kind of audition for that? I think so. ZLS Corporation Inc. I'm not sure. Um, anyways, most probably like he, he also wanted to, uh, I'm guessing like, you know, just like Sakura did, he also wanted to, you know, do something uh and just like you know how sakura like sent for an audition like uh and he, she got i think uh she, you know like run over by <laughs> Drakun before anything happened uh kotaro also did the same thing i'm guessing and he got rejected i think most probably like and one thing I, this portion, like here we see like him actually envisioning when Sakura says that, thank you, for, uh, you know, Kotaro-san, uh, he remembers like uh, the previous, like, you know, like the flashback, thank you, Inui-kun. So, okay, like, I'm not sure if his name was mentioned before, but I think this is the first time we actually know his name, isn't it? Like, it's Inui. So Tatsumi Kotaro, what's is that like some kind of stage name or something? Okay, just a sec. And here we in the flashback. I'm guessing he got alienated by, by people. Like here we see like Kotaro actually uh, standing at a distance and people kind of like you know like kind of not looking at him, talking amongst each other, like ostracizing him somehow. I'm guessing. And then we see him, him like actually like punching the wall, you know. And then we see the um, the the paper of audition paper. I think so. Most probably something like that. Uh, but yeah, like it like this actually like obviously this show like we already knew this, but that Gotaro knew Sakura. But like this shows how like you know much more uh, sakura actually had an influence on him like that one probably that one thank you kind of changed something in him when no one was like you know helping him or something something like that so yeah and i'm guessing uh, sakura does not remember him properly like we know that uh like sakura knew his name wait a minute like i'm so inu is his name isn't it um Or is it? I think so. 
yeah inu is his name most probably so like he like she knew kotaro oh wait a minute <clears throat> okay just a sec i can realize one thing is that the reason why he always wears shades so that sakura cannot recognize i was thinking i was thinking like if sakura already knew him like by his name so why does sakura not recognize kotaro now there is obviously like the first reason is obviously because uh like it's been a while you know like he was a school friend and obviously his appearance changed like that's the first thing and the second thing is most probably like he, he cannot recognize him because he always wears like the sunglasses the shades that he wears so like we never saw his face properly before you know whenever the shades fall down he like you know like we've seen he kind of like you know like put his hand over his eyes and like try to like scramble for the sunglasses i think that's probably the reason why he does not actually show his face face in front of the franchise so that sakura can actually not recognize him i don't know i may be thinking too much into it but this is this might be a, the probable reason here like otherwise why does sakura not recognize him because we can see that sakura actually knew his name like like he like he must be must have been an acquaintance uh, like you know like a, a kind of a friend if like sakura knew his name even if he was a classmate you know even if he she did not uh, interact with him during his school time uh, she like knew him by name so i'm guessing like she should have recognized him but i'm guessing the shades kind of are the reason why she does not recognize kotaro okay anyways okay so all right so this episode <coughs> was a great episode i actually was not expecting <laughs> the whole place to you know get flooded and them actually like you know losing their house like that was a surprise i was not expecting that and you know and then um, then we get to uh, <coughs> the shelter where everyone is there and <coughs> the kind of like you know obviously like i i obviously there's idols say they are uh, here for people's entertainment for making like you know like for making people happy for like you know like all those things like you know for uplifting the mood so like they were perfectly like you know uh, like you know like it's perfect that they were there because at this time an emotional stressful time and all especially for the children like adults can kind of like you know even though the adults are also stressed they can kind of uh, you know kind of like <coughs> like keep themselves steady because like emotionally stable but children that's not possible the children that they they don't actually understand anything like we can kind of see in the beginning where they actually go to the shelter all of the children are like happy laughing kind of playing around like you know like as children usually do like whenever they go to, go to a new place even in like times of disaster and stuff uh, like you know when there's like something bad is happening like children are like innocent they actually do not understand much like you know uh, most of the children do not do not understand what's happening like how much dangerous a situation is so like even in these type of situations children are usually happy for from like you know in the beginning in the beginning only but as time goes on we can see like one day went away and they were actually understanding that yeah something is wrong here like you know why are we not going home what's happening uh, you know why is mom and dad here with me like we're not going home uh, all those stuff was happening and the stress was coming in and children were crying and all so it was it was perfect that franchu was here they were able to uplift you know the mood and the children were happy again like after seeing like the idol group kind of like you know dancing singing with them playing with them like you know like doing stuff and kind of taking care of them like it was, it was great like um, as we see them kind of interact with everyone and the reporter also came here and like i'm like i'm happy that the reporter actually understood that what he actually thought about the situation is not what's actually happening and i hope he does not publish the thing i'm sure he will not and like <clears throat> uh and yeah and they like were singing and all and uh the the bartender uh i'm guessing he'll be fine like he's been in water for so long so i doubt anything's going to happen to him like you know he must, he must get some kind of medical attention and then he'll be fine as you know usual and uh like thankfully like they found kotaro and like you know the master because it was a really messy situation like imagine like you know the house was all fallen down it was like kind of like it was flooded and all like they were barely able to even i think they kind of stayed there for one day like imagine 
oh, oh my god that that would be you know but thankfully police officer found them <laughs> he kind of helped this time you know usually he kind of you know complicates the situation but this time he really helped <laughs> okay and uh, yeah and then like the whole situation gets messy again the makeup is falling down and all and like now here's the thing <laughs> here an idea kind of struck me and i that's the what they actually like you know used like i thought why not they make this like you know um like like a zombie thing you know like they usually make like themes and like you know go do the songs so why not make like to tell the audience that oh this is like a zombie thing this is like special makeup that we put on and we're going to like you know like do a zombie thing today and at the beginning like when they were making the mask i was like okay like all right like they're not going with the zombie theme so maybe this will work you know like the whole mask thing but <laughs> then when they like you know like obviously it's like a makeshift mask like it, it didn't even have much enough time to properly dry so when they got on the stage it completely broke down and now here's the thing <clears throat> what actually happened here is quite interesting i was thinking why are the uh, adults not freaking out like the children i can kind of understand that they probably won't you know like uh be able to properly cause the situation but the adults were supposed to get freaked out at that i was thinking why was that not happening i think the answer lies in like here like you know like first of all they were wearing masks so obviously the audience kind of thought that okay they must have some kind of special thing for us now they come out and the mask break down and they have this kind of a zombie face and like the adults and like and must have thought that oh this must be a part of the performance you know like coming out the mask will break down and you'll have like a zombie <laughs> appearance so that's why they did not freak out and the children also did not freak out because like you know like when they say that like uh, the franchise said that i'm sorry like i've been hiding something we're zombies actually and like the adults thought that oh this is part of the play but the, and the children thought that like what like why like why you're not zombies you're, you're franchise like you know like isn't, isn't this like uh like you know like you, you, like you've been with us for so long and as we can see you know like uh, children do not you know like what can i say like as we uh, as we know the children are innocent like they actually did not properly gauge what's happening so everything turned out to be fine the adults also did not freak out because they must have thought that yeah this is part of the performance the children thought about like nothing about it because the franchise has been actually interacting with them playing with them for so long so they like you know the the idea that yeah these people are like you know zombies never even got into their mind because they're children you know they thought that oh what are they even saying they're, they're franchise they have been playing with us for so long you know like they're our friends so something like this happened so that's why like no one freaked out and uh like yeah most probably something like that happened and like you know like and <laughs> like when the franchise of girls said that we are zombies we're sorry about this and the the audience did not actually react and they, like you know like and the uh, kids said that oh like you you're franchise you're not zombies um uh, i actually it was i wasn't it who was yeah i actually realized that yeah like like we are franchise we are help we are idols like even though we are zombies so like we should not let that like, you know the fact that we're zombies uh, like bother us the audience are not bothered by it so let's continue and like it kind of shows how you know they are accepted by the people they were accepted by the people and people really think of them as the franchise the idol group so like that's the identity of them not zombies you know like like they they just front shoe for them and like that really shows like uh you know like how they accepted them in a way like they accepted them so much that it does not actually bother them actually you know seeing them having a face like that even though they thought like it was part of the performance but still you know so yeah and like at that moment i thought oh my god are they really going to like you know announce that they're zombies and maybe like you know everyone will get to know that and in the end like you know like that did not happen obviously but you know like we saw that how they are been they have been accepted by the people and uh, yeah it's all well and good now and they did their like you know um 
what do you call it the the song the the thing the song and dance and kotaro came in he asked for help the special makeup got the special makeup then he you know um put the makeup on and now then in the last scene we see how sakura kind of expresses her you know thankfulness to kotaro and <clears throat> like now i'm um, there's still a lot of mysteries regarding kotaro like you know but still we can kind of understand like what's actually happening the basic background we can kind of understand like kotaro must have been saved by like you know saved emotionally by uh, sakura in the past so now like as he said that i don't want to give up on you guys you know and i will continue this uh, until the end and like unless and until you like you know you girls become global i'll like you know i'll not give up i'll keep going <laughs> and like i've still got it i'm doing it like like here it is uh when she when he kind of, kind of freaks out just a second i told you i've got it <laughs> and then the kabedon <laughs> listen to me sakura i was lying i uh, when i said i you didn't have it before and as long as fran shushu exists i'm going to be someone who has it <laughs> and the truth is sakura your dream doesn't end with efs your the dream of a entire group is to be loved by et eternal idols loved is to become eternal idols loved around the globe and until that comes true sakura i i will um I'm, i'm going to have it eternally yeah in a way no you know kotaro in a way hashiro has become global you know because we are watching them now <laughs> like from different countries all over the world i'm sure like you know each and every country in the world has at least one people who know franchisu one people is a very understatement you know a lot of people a lot of people are watching fans like so like <laughs> in a way <sighs> it has become fulfilled but you know in the anime obviously they still has to go a long way <laughs> so yeah first obviously the efs the revenge comes and then like you know the all the other stuff and now here's the thing um obviously the next episode i'm guessing it will be something related to the efs or something and i hope today's episode it kind of hints that we might get further seasons i'm not sure you know the way to kotaro kind of said that your journey has just started like you know like unless and until you become global uh, you'll like you know like we like i'll continue and you'll also continue with me so i don't know if that's like a hint for further seasons but if this really has further seasons i'll be very happy like zombie land saga is i don't know like it's, it's, it's an amazing show i've never seen something like this and it's definitely deserving of another season and i would love it if this continues you know so yeah and now like you know like all the things that they are actually doing in anime like saga revitalization project uh, and all stuff about like you know like becoming global and all in a way everything is kind of you know becoming true in the real world because like you know like every one of us like like i've been watching anime for quite a long time and obviously i'm not j japanese so i don't know much about japan uh only the basic stuff in anime that are like you know shown like for example uh, a few places we obviously we anime people know are akihabara um kyoto uh, all, and you know like all, all the other like uh, names that kind of come in kabuki cho um what else uh, osaka and uh, like all these people like places which are uh, you know famous famous like i can't remember all of them but there are a few more so like but i've never heard anything about saga so when this show came out it's the first time i actually like you know like un, like you know got to know that yeah there's a place called saga and like that's what like you know like kotaro is actually trying to do like revitalization of saga and i'm sure like you know like i also have like and i also want like you know like in the future to go to japan i'm not sure if that'll come true or not but i have a wish so if 
if someday it happens, you know, I'm sure I'll definitely go and visit Saga. And I'm sure that a lot of people who actually wanted to go to Japan, you know, and will go to Japan after watching Zombieland Saga, I'm sure they'll definitely go to Saga. And like, that's what really fascinates me about this show. Like it's, it's, it's so connected to the, <laughs> you know, like, so, to everything. I really love it. Like, it's so great. But yeah, anyways, this is not obviously not the end. We have another episode and I would really love if this continues and we get some further seasons. So yeah, so yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number 11. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Zombieland Saga Revenge. So until, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.